Mike and I met in Australia. Uh, he was my neighbor. I did not grow up around any Jewish people. Mike was my first introduction to Judaism. Um, and I, I kind of threw her off the, like the deep end right into it. She was like a blank slate. And so uh, you know, I, I felt almost like privileged to show her Annie Hall for the first time, or we watched Curb Your Enthusiasm. Once she got into Curb, I knew things were gonna be cool. It took me a while though to understand the jokes. But I think you understood me better once you understood that like I did. I New definitely, York I definitely kind of understood you better once I've been through all the Seinfeld seasons. <laughs> yeah. I always felt like my father. Maybe he was a little nervous from the very beginning, like, ooh, what's gonna happen with this relationship? I came to New York on a fiance visa. So we had to get married within three months of arriving and we had to deal with this issue. My father is a Holocaust survivor. He survived with my grandmother, disguising themselves as displaced Poles. This Holocaust history has had a big impact on my life. My father writes about the Holocaust, he speaks about the Holocaust. He's not religious per se, but he's really sensitive to this question of assimilation and, and intermarriage. I was raised Christian in a very religious household. Because my upbringing was so religious, I decided that when I was in charge of my own life, nobody was going to tell me what church to belong to. I wanted to have my own beliefs. I would ask him, so why is it so important that Jessica converts? And my father said, well, he doesn't want to lose this Jewish identity. When the conversion conversation came up, I was instantly opposed to it. At the same time, I knew that for me and Mike to have a life together, we would need to reach some compromise where we both shared the same kind of views, the same kind of beliefs, and somehow could incorporate both of our upbringings into something we could instill in our kids. So it was really once we started to understand that, that we were able to come up with some solutions. I literally just Googled like most liberal synagogue in New York City and we found very quickly the City Congregation for Humanistic Judaism and it kind of blew my mind in a way. It's really humanistic values but in the framework of Jewish culture and Jewish life. For me it's a way of thinking and it's something we can apply on a daily basis it resonates with us. But we've actually found a congregation that's filled with many people like us. It's not an institution, it's... It's a community. It's a community. It solved a lot of riddles and questions as we were trying to chart our future together.